Hey, what's going on everybody? Dr. Rossi, shrinksandsneakers.com. So in this video, what I wanna talk about is another one of those infamous or maybe famous uh, drug cocktails that you might have heard about either in popular media, on the medical floors, if you work in the hospital, if you work in emergency department especially, and that is the infamous B52 medication cocktail. So what does this combination of medications consist of? and why might someone use this in clinical practice. So, like I already alluded to, this is a drug combination. So it refers to actually three drugs that are usually administered intramuscularly, right? So instead of the typical PO or oral formulations of medications you would take by mouth, this group of medications or combination of medications is generally administered intramuscularly. And in particular, for de-escalation of agitated combative, aggressive patients. So commonly in the emergency departments where I work frequently, you'll have patients come in who are combative and you, of course, will start with verbal de-escalation. That's always the starting point. As you sit the person down, you talk to them, you try to find out what's going on, what's bothering them, and is there anything I can do in that immediate situation to make their stay in the emergency department a little more comfortable? So I'll generally start by seeing if they're hungry, if they're thirsty, if they need to sleep for a little while before we talk, um, if the setting, if the lights are too high, can we dim the lights in the room? There's various ways you can try to uh, enhance the setting a little bit to make it more therapeutic and make it easier for that patient to be in that position. Because if they're in the emergency department, they're likely in crisis. So it's already a difficult situation. So we don't wanna make it worse by not offering some of these little features or creature comforts that we can offer to our patients to make them feel a little more comfortable. With that said, it doesn't always work, right? A patient can still come in, be agitated, combative, aggressive, and then it's a danger not only to the patient, but also to the staff and people who are working in the department. And of course, it's your job as the physician, the person in charge, to essentially de-escalate that situation in the safest manner possible. So that's where this drug combination comes in. So what are the three drugs and what are we talking about here? So generally speaking, we're talking about the benzodiazepine lorazepam, also known as Ativan, the drug haloperidol, which is an antipsychotic medication, and I'll explain why this antipsychotic medication is used in this, uh, in this particular cocktail and why it works well. And then diphenhydramine, also known as Benadryl, which is an uh, antihistamine drug, also has sedating properties. So those are the three drugs, and the doses can vary depending on the patient. So the Ativan or Lorazepam dose might be anywhere from half a milligram to two milligrams, depending on the size of the person. And the haloperidol dose can be anywhere from five to 10 milligrams, diphenhydramine anywhere from 25 to 50 milligrams depending on who the patient is and the requirements. I will say when you're working with this drug combination, you generally want to make sure that if you're going to administer it, you're gonna give all three of the drugs, number one. So don't just give a little bit of Ativan and then try some Haldol later. You're better off giving them all together and you're better off overshooting the dose a little bit rather than undershooting it because if the person's not uh, naive to medication, has taken these type of medications before, they will have some degree of tolerance to these things which may, which may put you in a position where you give them a, a certain amount of medication and they, and they don't become less agitated. They actually get more agitated and it can create a problem because now you've already administered some medication you might have to work around certain things in the EMR. So better to overshoot a little bit with these meds if you're going to use them. With that said, here's the basic idea. The lorazepam or Ativan is a benzodiazepine. So that's gonna work by modulating your GABA receptors. And if you're familiar with the term GABA, GABA is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. So obviously if we start modulating that, we're going to start to calm the person down. We're gonna to start to bring them down. This, these drugs are commonly used for people with anxiety disorders, panic disorder, um, and various other ways. But generally speaking, those are some of the ways we might use that. So you can imagine we're calming the person down with, the, with Ativan because it's a benzodiazepine working on GABA. 
Haloperidol, like I said, is an antipsychotic, which is a bit of a strange drug maybe to be thinking about. But what I'll say about haloperidol is that it is very sedating and it is very good at treating aggression as well as uh, aggressive behavior and violent behavior. So again, the sedating properties of the drug is what we're taking advantage of and leveraging in this emergency situation. The third drug, diphenhydramine, I said that not only is it a little bit sedating, which we know some people take it to go to sleep at night, it also has the added benefit of preventing some of the side effects. So it can be used if someone's having an acute dystonic reaction, 